morning welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a what i eat in a week it's going to be more of a like what i eat in a few days but i'm going to bring you along throughout the week it's just i have some meal prep stuff so i don't want to show you guys the same stuff over and over again but anytime i'm having a different meal this week i will show that to you so i love these videos i just love knowing what people are eating i love getting inspiration it is by no means you know don't follow my diet exactly i am not a dietitian i'm not a registered anything i just love food i love fueling my body i love trying to eat like a higher protein diet i'm i'm sure you guys are so tired of me talking about protein at this point but we love protein <laughs> we love protein around here and a lot of my protein intake does come from vegetarian options i don't eat red meat but i eat chicken and fish and a lot of tofu <laughs> and beans so this morning we're having what something that i meal prepped yesterday which is very exciting i'm having some egg bites which i made with eggs egg whites and cottage cheese and then some veggies popped those in the oven and they're all ready for me which is so nice i'm gonna actually reheat them in the air fryer because i thought that would make them nice and crispy and then we're gonna have a little bit of a yogurt bowl on the side just for some extra protein and some fruit because i love having fruit in the morning so if i'm doing something savory it's got to be sweet and savory i'm just i love sweet stuff in the morning fruit yogurt ugh, nut butter so good so that's what we're gonna do this morning start our morning with a really nice fresh healthy breakfast yeah i just thought i'd bring you guys along for a fun little week of good eats if you guys like this type of content you like this video then please subscribe to my channel comment down below what your coffee order is because lately i have been making my coffees with usually i would just have them with a little bit of frothed milk i love it to be extra hot but lately i've been adding like a tiny bit of a creamer into my frother with my milk so it's just like a splash and it just gives it that extra fun vibe in the morning and i've been really loving that i have this elmer's caramel macchiato one and then i also have a silk maple one and they're both absolutely delicious just a little bit i don't like my coffee too sweet but yeah comment down below your regular morning coffee order i'm definitely a hot coffee in the morning until i absolutely cannot and it's still hot coffee time for me so i've been loving that but let's make some breakfast because i'm feeling starving right now for some reason it is almost 8 a.m i've been up since 6 30 so it's time to eat thank you guys so much for being here let's get into the video Hi guys welcome to lunchtime i'm not gonna debase you all by thinking you need a tutorial for a tuna salad because it's extremely simple but i just wanted to say hi hello how are we doing and just check in with you all i'm just chopping up some veggies i honestly had those veggies prepped in my fridge and i just wanted to have like anything in there use it up make it crunchy i love a tuna salad that's crunchy i honestly love any salad that's really crunchy added some pickles obviously because pickles are my favorite thing like anything pickled I just go crazy for it. I love it so much. And then I added the tuna into a bowl and then just added like all of the veggies and some sauce. I did Greek yogurt instead of mayo, mustard because I'm obsessed with mustard. More hot sauce. I've eaten so much hot sauce this week. <laughs> it's actually kind of dangerous. And then I added some olives too because I wanted to use them up. Lime juice, of course, because all my things need to be tangy. And then threw the veggies in there and just like mix it up with some pepper. Very, very easy. Really good like work from home lunch. Okay, we're back on the couch we're back to work but i obviously just had to do a taste test with you guys the little lettuce things that i got are really small so i have like a little like six of them but so good so delicious so crunchy mm. and literally so easy 10 out of 10 for me love tuna if you don't like tuna you could do something like chicken salad or you could even do this with tuna uh, you could even do this with tofu eggs anything but so easy, so delicious, and such a good work from home 
lunch. Guys, it is almost 7 p.m., which is actually kind of early for me to eat dinner, which I know is kind of crazy, but I usually eat around like eight, but I feel really hungry right now. I just got home from reading in the park actually, which was so nice. It was just like such a beautiful day all day today. And I went out in the afternoon for like a lunchtime workout, but beside that I was inside working. And when I logged off, I was just like, I really, really want to be outside. It was like 16 or 17 degrees and it's like the middle of April, not even. So that is kind of unheard of, especially in Nova Scotia. I feel like we always get like pretty bad weather in April for some reason, which is fun because that's my birthday month, but like almost every year on my birthday, which is the end of April, I've had snow. Like not a lot of it and it always like goes away pretty much right away, but it's either been snowing or raining on my birthday like almost every single year of my life, of my 27 years on this earth, almost 28. But I am actually very hungry now. So we're gonna do another meal that I've prepped beforehand. I promise this entire week isn't just gonna mean me reheating meals. I will show you guys some stuff when I'm like making something new or I'm going out to eat or something like that. That's why I'm just going to bring you guys along throughout the week whenever I'm eating something different and exciting. <laughs> but I mean, this is very exciting to me, but you guys don't get to see me make it because I've already made it. Um, you will see that in a different video, actually. But it is my prepped... I'm not having all of this. <laughs> um, this is so heavy. It's a couscous chickpea, edamame bean, pea, and tofu miso stew. <laughs> I think I got all the ingredients in there. It is just packed full of all the things, all the nutrients and protein and veggies and everything. And it's so good. Like miso in my world can do no wrong. But I also have some washed kale here that I'm going to steam in the microwave and then add a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice and have that as a base for this, just because I feel like adding more greens and I love kale and want to use it up. So we're going to do that. Easy, quick dinner for me tonight. And I think I might eat on my balcony because it's still so nice out and it's not going to sun, like the sun's not going to set for another, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour. So I think I'm just going to soak up the rest of the daylight. Um, I don't have any sun on my balcony anymore. That's long gone. But just be outside because it's still so nice out. Maybe I'll read a little bit more of my book. I was just reading a book at the park that was pretty heavy. So I'm thinking I'm either going to go back into my other book or maybe I'll just give myself a little bit of TikTok time, a little bit of scrolling time. But I don't know. That doesn't really feel like it's going to serve me very well right now. I'm in like a not feeling like being on social media mood right now. So let's reheat dinner and get our sparkling water obviously, because I'm not going to be having a dinner without that <laughs> anytime soon. Um, I'm trying to decide between my mango bubbly or one of my other like city seltzers. Both of them are just like, like sparkling water, but let me see. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, I didn't realize I still had a kombucha left. I will be having this. Oh, that sounds amazing right now. And so refreshing. Yes. Kombucha and dinner. Let's do it. It is breakfast time. I'm actually so hungry right now and I still have Some of those egg bites left so I'm gonna have those but I kind of want to have like a sweet and savory breakfast So I'm either gonna do and I really feel like toast. So I'm feeling like everything right now <laughs> but I think I'm gonna do either like a sweet and savory toast so one piece of bread I'll do like yogurt and berries and then the other one I'll do like the egg bites and make it like a bit more savory or I'll just do toast, the egg bites, and a little yogurt bowl on the side. So we'll see, we'll do that together right now. I'm just gonna pop the toast into my air fryer because I still don't have a toaster. Really need to get one of those. 
and then we'll just kind of whip everything together and I'll show you. I tried to be your everything, gave my everything I sold out. Now just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left. You guys, if you don't know, you're about to find out. Not that one. I need a sweet treat, obviously. It's the afternoon, finishing some work, and these are calling my name. If you've never had a Malona, this is your sign to go buy one. They are popsicles, and they have a bunch of different flavors. They usually are like fruity. They have like a banana one that I've never tried, but they have a melon one that's also really good. This is the coconut one, and it is my dream, like, sweet treat. It's by this company. Bing... Bingare? Bingare? They're so good and refreshing and amazing. I just can't. I haven't had one in so long. I forgot about them, and then I just thought about them right now. And they're this fun shape, like, square, rectangle shape. I'm, like, kind of warm right now, and I just, you know that afternoon I'm hitting that mid afternoon like 3 p.m. slump and I wanted something a little sweet a little fun and this is just gonna hit the spot it's gonna do what I need it to do so that's what we're having right now a little Malona welcome back to my kitchen yet another clip in my kitchen that's what a what I eat in a week video is going to consist of a lot of the kitchen but it is a very gloomy day a very gloomy Thursday evening and I'm like really warm for some reason but we're gonna make some dinner. It feels really early for me to eat dinner, even though it's literally 7.30 and I probably won't be eating until like eight. I ate at like 8.30 last night because I got home from my run club and had some of my meal prep. Thank God I had that made for myself. And then I had the last of my meal prep, like that couscous stuff that I showed you earlier in the week for lunch today because I wanted to do something different for dinner tonight. Like I felt like actually doing something, you know, like chopping a vegetable or, you know, putting a little bit more effort in. So it's not gonna be anything crazy. I'm actually reheating the air fryer right now, if you can hear that, but, or preheating it, not reheating it. I'm just gonna do a salad with a chicken burger on it. We're gonna do kale, lettuce, some of those veggies that I had chopped up in my fridge, and then a tahini dressing, which I'm so excited for, and a little bit of cheese. So that will be very fun. Um, I'm excited to have that, because I just want something like fresh and crunchy and like yummy. And that's exactly what's calling my name. And I've got all of those things ready to, oh, there you go, ready to eat and chop up in the fridge. I had a lot of like little snacks that I didn't actually show you guys, but a lot of it was um, things that you guys have already seen, but I had a lot of fruit as well. Um, I'm just feeling the fresh and the like juicy. I feel like I'm just like really thirsty, you know? That's when I most, I mean, I always crave fruit, but that's when I really crave like veggies and fruits and all that as snacks is when I'm thirsty. And I've been drinking a lot of water, but I did that run yesterday. It was only 5K with the run club, but it was great. But then like I walked 25 minutes there, 25 minutes back and did the 5K and I didn't take my electrolytes and I usually do on a run day. So I feel like I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling that because it was warmer than I was expecting as per, I keep overdressing for my runs and I was hot, sweaty. Air fryer is reheated. I don't know why I keep saying that. Air fryer is preheated, which means we're gonna put the chicken burger in there. I did it on the um, pan last time, because you're supposed to pan fry it, but it I don't have non-stick pans yet. I need to get some. If anyone has any suggestions that aren't our place, like someday would love to get one. Don't really feel like spending like two or 300 bucks on a pan or a pot right now. If anyone has any affordable suggestions, please comment them down below. I've seen a couple um, lines at Walmart actually randomly that are like, pretty cute, look pretty good, have decent reviews, but I would like to know from like one of you guys, someone I trust, you know? So let me know. But yeah, we're gonna make some dinner and whip that together and then eat it. Hello, you're in my fridge. We officially have the evening started. I've got a candle lit. I've got Princess Diaries on the background, which is just the vibe. And we're gonna make our dinner. We have the stuff in the air fryer, like you saw, and I'm just gonna grab some ingredients. So I'll have the rest of those tomatoes I had earlier this week, some latousse, my chopped veggies, and also some of that washed kale. 
I might actually get crazy, throw a bit of sauerkraut on top, just have something fermented on there. And then we're gonna use this as a dressing. So I bought it and it's an apple cider tahini dressing, but it's really thick. So what I like to do is like mix it with, I know this is crazy, but mustard, balsamic, and a little bit of lemon juice. And it thins it out, adds like, I add usually a little bit of water as well. Makes it like just thinned out more of a dressing for a salad. So we're gonna do that. Should I put pickles on it too? Or is that crazy? Like, am I getting wild with the toppings? Anyway, we're just gonna chop up the veg and the lettuce and all of that and see how it looks. And we'll add stuff if we want to, but let's do it. Good morning, back again with another smoothie, but this one we made a little bit different. I made it a banana chocolate coffee smoothie, which I don't normally add my coffee into a smoothie, but I just wanted that extra kick this morning and I thought that would taste really delicious. And the Vega protein with the coffee and the nut butter and the cinnamon and everything actually works. So, because otherwise like by itself, it's actually disgusting. And we just blended it up and it turned out, I thought the coffee would be enough liquid, but I needed a little bit more. So I added some almond milk and it was a little anticlimactic, like not very big, but it did the trick. It was delicious. Friday night, but we're eating our cauliflower gnocchi that you just saw me make, and I put so much cheese on top. Now it's all melted. Oh. I made, I made a homemade sauce just with like cottage cheese and tomato paste and like seasonings, a little bit of water. I put a lot of lemon juice in it. Like I love lemon, and I think I put a little too much lemon in this, but still good, still delicious. Honestly, I also have some zucchini, some bell peppers. Kale. I just like wanted to use up the rest of my stuff, honestly. I still have half of a zucchini, so maybe I'll make like an egg dish tomorrow. But I'm watching Scoop on Netflix. Has anyone seen it? I can't tell how I feel about it. I feel like like I knew, obviously, like I heard so much about Epstein and everything and like Prince Andrew, but I don't know how I feel about this movie. It's interesting, but I feel like some parts are just kind of boring. Let me know if you guys have watched it down below and we can chat because I'm not finished yet. I still have a half an hour, so maybe I'll change my tune. I am literally exhausted. Like, I'm so tired, so I'm just happy to have a night in tonight doing nothing. And I'm so excited to sleep in tomorrow. Don't have to wake up for anything. Have a couple things on the go um, this weekend. So I'm excited to have just like a night in tonight and I'm just chilling. Oh my God, my, ca my camera is doing that really weird thing. So I'll stop talking so you guys don't have to watch that anymore. But this is good. gonna watch this finish this movie and then start something else or maybe i'll read <laughs> we know i won't but i need new things to watch so let me know what you guys are watching right now because i could use some inspiration mm. you guys i haven't had this on in a while because i haven't needed it but it was literally snowing and hailing today after my run club so not it it is almost the end of april so we're not happy about that but it looks like it's clearing up a little bit thank god that was just like a fluke it always happens at the end of april we always get this like weird oh we don't really want it to be spring yet oh just joking you know the weather just likes to play with us play tricks but anyway i'm editing my video right now and realized i forgot to do an outro and forgot to say goodbye and thank you for watching and that i love you and i can't leave without saying that so thanks so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you think about doing that. Comment down below, hit that notification bell. Engaging with my videos really helps YouTube recognize my channel and push it out to other people, which is really huge for someone who has a small channel like mine. So 
if you want to support me then those are some of the things you can do or you can follow me on instagram and tiktok i haven't been posting so much over there lately but i am going to be doing it again i'm making a whole plan don't worry i'm gonna get back on it i was on it a bit in london and then i just got off of it I've been mo more focused on youtube and then just like my other job and life things and making friends and stuff <laughs> but we're getting back on it so anyway that has nothing to do with this video this video was all about what i ate i hope you guys liked it like i said and i'll see you in the next one i love you so much and thank you for being here bye